Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today my video is going to be pretty simple. Basically, I'm going to be comparing throttle bodies for your LS and more precisely, I'm going to be comparing a cheap throttle body to an expensive throttle body. Uh, this is a cheap Chinese throttle body. This is a stock throttle body that I'm going to start off with just so you can see the difference in the two. This is a 92 millimeter, $80 throttle body. It's very cheap. Uh, I want to let you guys know what to expect when you go to buy one of these things because long story short, I ordered a fast intake and throttle body as a combo. Well, the intake come in, but the throttle body didn't. I called to see where it was. They said it was in stock, but obviously it wasn't. The throttle body was on back order for like two months. So I was like, you know, I'm not gonna just let my fast intake sit here in the box. So I found a cheap one and got it thinking, you know, it would be fine. And it did turn out to be fine, but after a long drawn out process. So this is a stock one that I had got ported. It was ported when I got my LS1 combo already. This is what came on it. And I did a little more porting to it. It worked great, but on the data log, as you could see, well, I'm not showing you now, but as I could see, I had an intake restriction. So I knew it was time to upgrade. I have a 370 cubic inch motor on this smaller throttle body. So it was time for a little upgrade. And you can see the restriction on the data log, like I said. Well, I got this throttle body. I said, well, let me just bolt it on, see how it does. Well, first thing, I tried to swap over my IAC right here the IAC would not fit no matter what I did the IAC would not fit so I had to take a little metal off my IAC here and bore out the hole a little bit to make it fit so I was like okay you got that working should be good to go you know you, I could sit here and open the throttle and everything was fine okay go to put the throttle body on well it won't clear the water pump so I had to grind on the bottom. No big deal. Okay, I said, okay, that's nothing. Got that taken care of. Bolted the throttle body on, got in the car, hit the throttle. The throttle stuck about that much open. After, as a bolting the throttle body on basically caused the, the body of the throttle body to probably twist and flex a little bit. And it may cause the blade to get wedged wedged up making it stick and you can't really see it probably not too good on camera but in this area right in here it was sticking and you can kind of tell it's trying to be sticky now so i had to take the throttle blade out and i started off by i was like well i'll start off by polishing the throttle blade. As you can see, the throttle blades kind of wide and had very sharp edges on it. that had pretty much cut you if you touched them very, very quick or hard. So I polished the edges of the blade, thinking that would help, bolted it back on, same problem. You could see where it was rubbing on both sides, really. So I pull the throttle blade back out and decide to polish around where the throttle body sits. So I did that and about two times and uh, maybe three hours later, I had it working, throttle body would work. So I was like, all right, we're good to go. Put the throttle body on the car and try to uh, start working on the idle tune. And well, that wasn't very much fun. Uh, I could line up my idle values and the car still wouldn't idle with the quality that I was looking for. So I ended up, I kept playing with it until I got what the car liked, okay? That took me probably three hours. So finally I got it to where it would run good. Well, It, run, it would run good for a while, and then you'd get to where the idle would kind of start getting funky on it and start kind of acting up. 
So basically what was ha what would happen is is this throttle blade, this thing, the shaft has a little bit of play. The shaft and the throttle body. So that will basically cause the throttle body to stick. It'll also cause air to leak around the throttle blade unpredictably. So basically it means your idle is not gonna be reliable as it could be. So basically if you get one of these and, and if you bring this thing to your tuner and you got a new build and you bring a throttle body like this to your tuner and he's tuned a lot of cars, he's probably gonna look at this throttle body and he's probably gonna have a heart attack. Uh, and he's probably gonna wanna charge you about double to tune your vehicle because he knows that it's probably gonna take twice as long as it should. So I learned that the hard way, but luckily I tuned my own stuff and I had this thing on there and I made it run good. It ran good for four or five, probably about four months, probably put six or 7,000 miles on it. And the fast uh, throttle body came in. So let's get to that. Here is the fast. This is how it came, just like this. It came in this box. This came in a thin cardboard box. It come like this, packaged like this. Came with a brand new IAC and throttle position sensor. Okay, so let's pull it out of here. Got some fancy stickers. Got some directions on the bottom. And you basically got a free gun case and a deal. So here it is, it's very clean. I've not put it on the car yet, but I'm about to. But you can see how nice and solid that sounds and how it feels there. The throttle is very smooth. It don't feel like it wants to be sticky at all. This one is different. I mean, you could, I know you can't probably tell the difference on camera, but you can tell this thing's just sticky. So when you're driving around, it's not really fun if you're driving slow. You know, if you, if you can't barely open a throttle without you cracking it open real fast and hard every time, it gets annoying after a while. So this is the fast. I have not put it on yet, but, uh, that's what I'm about to do. The, the only problem I found with this little thing right here, which is, you know, not a problem, especially the way the fast intake seals. It's got an O-ring seal that goes around the lip, so we should be good there. But I did want to compare the sizes for y'all. But this thing was expensive, you know, but I should be able to bolt this on and not have to spend three hours on it, or, or really six hours plus on it. And I shouldn't give my tuner a heart attack when he tries to tune this thing in. But I do want to compare the sizes for y'all just to see what they come out to. See we're zeroed out right there. We'll measure them from the back. I'll start with the stock throttle body. Put it on millimeters, so that's how we measure these. 74.6, measure it again. Well, 74.79, okay. So we'll say 75 millimeters. That's what we got there. All right, the cheap one. We get 91.6 millimeters. And here's the fast 92, 91.8 millimeters. Okay, so they're the right size. I do like this fast throttle body because it does match the intake, but let's just hope that I can put this thing on here and tune it in like a regular throttle body and it'll work right. If it does, it'll be great. If it don't, I can still put this one back on there 
because I have it tuned in. It just wasn't any fun. So uh, I'll put this throttle body on the car and we'll see how it goes. One more thing I did want to show you guys is the difference in the IAC on these throttle bodies. You can see this the IAC valve goes in here. Air comes through this hole behind the throttle body as the IAC controls it to make the car idle right. That's this hole here, cheap throttle body. And here's the fast throttle body. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's a pretty good difference in the size of the IAC. So I'm hoping that will help the tunability and the idle on the car. I'm thinking that it will, because if you can get more air in faster as the IAC reacts, you should have a smoother idle. With this little bitty hole, as the IAC reacts, it's passing less air either way you look at it. So let's see how it does. All right, guys, it took about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. I got her on there. It went on very easy. My hose clamp fell and disappeared. So, uh, yeah, I have to find that later. So now I'm going to hook my computer up to it. And let's see how long it takes to get it running right. And I'm going to let you guys know how long it takes. All right, guys, so it's been about 15 or 20 minutes. I cranked the car up, let it idle, uh, let it warm up, uh, set the throttle blade, try to get 40 counts on the IAC if you're close to it. And uh, it's running pretty good. I haven't even touched the tune. So uh, I'm gonna show y'all guys what it does. Start the fresh scan. That's it, let's see what it does. Uh, to make it idle right with the Chinese throttle body, the computer wanted to be pulling three grams per second. Now it looks like it's it's pulling 2.25, but it's idling good. It's closer to what the computer thinks it should want, but it's idling good. I haven't drove it yet. But it seems like it's acting pretty good. Let's check the IAC counts. guys that's about it i thought i was gonna have to do a bunch of idle tuning to make it work right i haven't test driven it yet but uh it seems like it's gonna be all right so hopefully 
this helps you guys out and uh thanks for watching